M0FXB, welcome to my unboxing of the Elinco DJX100 multi mode receiver. And yes, it receives DMR, D Star, Fusion, NXDN. It's not, it does not receive HF like the AOR DV10 does, which also receives all the digital, digital modes. It's quite unique looking this one, and it has come all the way from Japan. Uh, I recommend you actually wait until you get one from the UK, Europe, USA, because look at my manual. It's, it's in Japanese. Right, okay, but anyway, it's here. We're going to uh, give you a preview of this and set it up. It's quite unique looking, and I think a lot of people like the way it looks because it pretty much looks nothing like any other receiver. So, I mean, you can't go far wrong with, with black radios anyway. Um, so remember, if you bought this outside of the UK, you need to be very careful with the adapter that you're using because it is, it is different. So let's quickly take it out. It's already got the strap on there. I would say it's quite a wide device. Um, we'll get everything out. We'll put it on the table. There's the AOR. It's a lot smaller and lighter than the AOR. Quick look at the battery that we've got here. Oops. Yes. So, yeah, it's not a big battery, is it? So, have a quick look. Uh, 3120 milliamp hours, 3.6 volts. So, it's USB C charging, which is always convenient. There is software available that I've downloaded, but we're going to see how we get on with that. What's in this little box here? Adapter. So, I'll be checking that adapter. I don't want to get things wrong. And USB cable. Antenna, I, d I believe that the seller told me that he's put in a Yesu antenna with the, the one that I've got So it's not the original antenna, but you know Yesu antennas are very good. Let's have a quick look at the adapter here Yeah, the one he's given me is just your standard 5 volt one. So nothing unusual with, with the one I've been given So let's put the antenna on. It's an SMA connector Like so I mean, it's a very nice looking device you know definitely it's definitely nice looking you've got the lower knob the top knob feels like the lower one's volume and the top one's not i noticed that the set button is used quite a lot here i was watching different videos but let's get the battery in and they just go like so and go around and then we've not turned this on and buying it from outside of uk is never a plus so on here, and then you've got function lock and monitor squelch there. So let's turn it on. Yeah, very nice, very nice looking screen. And let's just turn it so it's straight in there. Let's see if I can put in my D Star hotspot. Four three one dot five five zero. And then how do you do set? It's, it's, there it is, D Star which I have got on, and now we need to know how to change the mode. And we're going to go up and down, we're guessing here. Narrow FM, AM, FM, let's press it again. Let's see if I can find that. I think we managed to find D star. Just need someone to speak now. Okay, we've got it on DMR at the moment. I realised that frequency was a DMR signal that's coming through. And to change the mode, you've got colour code 1 showing, ID is showing, and slot 1, top group 91. Now, if you press the mode button, look, press it twice, and then you can choose D star and C4FM. So let's go to C4FM, we click set, and I've got, I'm going to do lots more videos on this. This is just really an unboxing, um, and then we'll go to 433.900, which is my open spot, set. Um, see if we can get some transmission for my open spot. Open spot, connected to Brandmeister, 2, 3, 4, 1, link. Sorry, it's so bright. Nine, one, and two, but three, you're actually five, receiving one, C4 two, FM now. Three, five, two, six. We can change the screen to blue as well. If we press mode again, and again, twice, and let's choose. Apparently it does have an XDM, but I'm not sure about that. 
let's choose D star this time, set, and then we'll go 433.550, which is my D star frequency, set. Oh, this one here you set, okay. Let's do that again, 433.550, set. And then we'll see if it gets D star. So it even knows that it's my open spot. And I haven't added any memories or anything. Not really. A bit broken, that one. Um, let's try it again, see if it will connect. Let's try 30 Charlie. Let's try it. Quick setup. Uh, D star. Reflector. This time we're going to choose 30 Charlie. La la la. Connect. See what it does. Open spot. Trying to connect to REF030 Charlie. It's just uh, what uh, half past one, maybe half past one ish. Yeah, no, it's not long, but uh, yeah, we'll be yeah. in the UK. So we know it works on all bands, and if we put airband in, for me it's 133.850. Set, and then we would go to mode. Press it twice, remember? We want FM, don't we? As you can tell, I can't find FM if I hold it. Hmm. Okay, well, we need to get... Because it's <laughs> everything's in Chinese. Let's just go back. And then we'll go VFO memory. Oh, there's no memories in there. And scan. Okay, nice and fast. Scanning fast. As you can see, do the squelch. There's squelch. You've got a fu some more functions here. Look, functions. It's a really nice... Definitely a very nice looking device. No complaints about the way it looks. And uh, I def I need to spend some more time learning it. It literally just came here. I did a quick unboxing. And it looks like it's got GPS as well. And apparently there's software where you can follow it with a map as well. I will get the English manual. And it'll be nice to know what uh, firmware we've got on this one. It's really fast scanning. Really fast. And then we'll hold it down. And we've got normal... Broadcast radio, that's your volume at the bottom. Channel there, WFM, we're in WFM mode, hold down. No, it's in like, uh, it's scanning everything at the moment. Step, look, you just choose your step, that's nice and easy. Just press the step and then set. VFO memory, we need to add memory, scan and then program as well. So we hold down, what we got here, hold. Again. It's in Japanese, but still pressing everything at the moment. You've got a skip button there, which you sort of need with scanners, don't you? Because it, if it keeps going to the same thing, you need to uh, be able to skip. So let me learn it. You know, at the moment we're a bit lost, uh, but just thought I'd just quickly show you the unboxing. Bye for now.